Hi everyone, it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be part of this amazing Stamperia YouTube hop with some of my very talented friends. And here I am creating a panel. This is, I think, a six by eight wooden panel that I'm going to create using some Stamperia products. I do apologize for my very, very dirty fingers. I have somehow not been able to remove this. I don't know what happened today, but I've been scrubbing and it just hasn't worked. So just looks like I've worked really hard on other artwork and that's why it's, they're so dirty. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the amazing Stamperia rice paper that you see here. And I'm going to use some pieces of it to cover the background. Now, because my piece is so small, I'm not going to use this beautiful clock. I actually want to use some of these chains here and some of these gears. And I'll leave the clock for another project. Now, I will link below links to some of these rice papers that you can buy at Joggles. They are really fantastic. And I mean, I think this particular one might not be there, but there's one very, very similar that is even nicer. So that's the one I'm linking to below, just because some things are just sometimes not available. So I'm going to try to be very careful around the clock to make sure that I am not cutting the clock, because I think it would be amazing to use this for a different project so let me put this aside now the nice thing about the rice paper is that, that you don't have to use it straight you could use it and cut pieces of it in different and glue them in different directions i do love these chains and this key over here so that's going to definitely be here and i'm going to have just that one key available here i'm going to cut over this i can always keep the key for something else and let's see, I'm going to also cut right here at the end of this chain set. Now, once I glue the first piece, I can always add the gears afterwards. I'm going to use some of their collage decoupage medium. This is great to use on these type of papers, but you can basically use matte gel medium or basically anything. I'm going to put a little bit in here just so it's easier to work with. I like that it's so thin. It's perfect for this type of projects, especially when you have tissue paper or rice paper. So that's what's nice about this. And you always want to seal your paper with either gel or collage medium or basically anything. You want to make sure that it's sealed. That way it doesn't get ruined when you're using other products. Now I really want to use these gears. I'm thinking I will add them over here. The nice thing about collage paper, you can really Add it anywhere and it just looks really good. Oh, wait, actually, maybe I'll shoot add it. Oh no, maybe I'll add it over here. You know what, let's add it with these chains. It actually otherwise looks weird. And then I want this piece to be added over here. So I don't want to cover the key, but I do want to add these gears over here. And that's basically the, the panel covered really nicely with some beautiful rice paper. I let the background dry and then I decided that instead of adding tissue paper on the edges, I am going to use paint instead. I think it will frame it really nicely and it makes it a little bit easier as well. For the center, which I want to be the focal point, I want to use this stencil. This is the Mechanical Heart Stencil from Stamperia. And I'm going to basically add it here in the center. And what I want to do is I want to basically secure it to the background. So I'm using some Microsport tape just so it doesn't get ruined. That way, when I remove it, I am 
it doesn't ruin the paper in the back. To create the, the heart, I'm going to use some crackle paste. I just think this will give it a very cool effect. I'm going to run it over the stencil. You just have to be careful when you're applying it that you're going in the direction of, of the stencil. I think I made a mistake a little bit, but there's nothing I can do about it. The stencil ran underneath. That's okay. It happens. Now I'm carefully going to remove the tape. So it didn't come out perfect and that's okay. I can clean up some of the areas. So I'm going to try to clean this up. I'm going to add some of this texture also on the edges. That way when I add the paint, it will look really cool. And I know this area did not come out as good as I was would have hoped for, but it's still, you can see that it's a mechanical heart. So that's pretty cool. I can always go over things afterwards with a marker or something like that. So it's not a problem. So now that the crackle has dried, I can add some paint onto it. And I'm using some of this acrylic paint and it's called Allegro and there's different colors of it. And I wanted to create a really rusty look to this. So I picked colors that would be rusty in the background. And with the crackle paste, it's really good to let it air dry. Once you can see some of the crackles, then you can actually heat set it and it works perfectly well that way. I'm going to start with this color. It's one of the darker colors. So the way I'm going to work with this is that I'm going to let this drip down the page and I'm going to put a little wipe here at the bottom. That way it works well. So hopefully you can see well. So I'm going to add the paint at the top and then spray it with water and let it drip. It's a pretty liquidy paint, so you should just drip at the, towards the bottom. I might add thicker areas as well, depending on what I want to accomplish. So adding some of the darker ones will help to give this a base. I'm trying to cover the white as much as I can so it doesn't look so stark white and I realize that dripping won't help so let's try and do this the regular way. The more water it is obviously the, is, the more translucent it is and I don't want to lose any of the stuff in the background so I want to make sure that I keep the beautiful designs in the background as well. So the water helps dilute everything. Now if I want it thicker, I can do that for the side panels. But for this, I want it to be diluted enough that it covers the, the white, but doesn't cover everything else. Okay, let's try a different color. I'm gonna add a little bit of this red now. Maybe I'll just water it to begin with. So I'm going to add this red here. And if I have too much, I can always remove with some of the water and let it drip. Yeah, this is the effect that I wanted. I was trying to get it done at the top, but it wasn't working for me. So now at least it's working this way. And now I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow as well. And 
and now it's the the colors are starting to form this is like the idea of having it rusty having it look rusty so i'm using the paints to make this look very rusty and this is where i can use some of the paint to kind of hide the mistakes So now I'm going to use some of the turquoise color because I think it needs some turquoise to add that patina. Let's add some of this as well. So I just need to move this stuff around. I need to create that effect everywhere. Okay, so I am going to dry this up to see if it needs any more layers. So now I'm going to add a little bit more just because everything was too wet and I couldn't like um, add the shadows and the light so this is important to just do that once things are a little bit dry and I do want to still fix some of the areas where the mistakes happened with the stencil it's just a key to blend them in so it doesn't look like anything was there some areas obviously I can't fix but that's the nice thing with mixed media. You can fix most of it. So I want to add a little bit of the darker color here at the edges. And I'm going to paint the dark color also around the edges here as well. So I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to do the dark one here. And you can always add a little bit of the other one as well to kind of mix it and create that nice rusty look. So I'm mixing the reddish color with the darker color as well and you can basically make the panel look all the same everywhere so i'm going to show you here some of it dripped but i can just do this put a little bit of red and mix it with the brown and it really looks authentically rusty i can need to put a little bit of yellow and even a little bit of blue so all the three colors together create a really nice patina effect and i'm gonna do this on all sides of this panel but i want to just finish here i always like framing my artwork with something darker that will give it a really nice border and i really like how the white actually stood out I debated whether or not to put other pastes here. I thought to put some gold paste, but I think it was a good choice to actually put the crackle paste. That made a difference on how it looks. It, lo it really looks mechanical and very rusty. Now it's really rare for me not to do a 3D effect on panels. I really like doing that and adding 3D and this is pretty flat so I thought I could eat, get a couple of like metal gears and add these to the panel. It would be fun to do so. So let's see, I have some metal ones here. There we go. And then maybe one bigger one. It's not, it's not similar to this but I like it anyways. There we go. And I'm going to add another one over here. Okay, so that's good. And what I want to do is I'm going to glue these. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a wax on top of them. So I ended up grabbing a few more gears and then gluing them to the background. I went through my stash and found some of them. And just added them here and glued them. And now I just want to just add a little bit of wax here. And I really like adding the wax because it adds like a little bit of light to the Eddie project. So I always use my 
my finger to add it, but you can use a paintbrush as well. So the wax that kind of looks mechanical, looks metallic. And then I also have a little plaque that I thought would be nice to add here. It's a little bit, it's not gold enough, so I'm just going to add a little bit of wax just to match it to the rest. That way it matches perfectly here. And I will figure out how to attach it to the background. So I ended up tying up the sign. It says, no beauty shines brighter than one, that of a good heart. And I like how I tied it over here and added all these gears. It really looks mechanical. And I just find it really, really steampunk. I really like it. So I really hope you like this. Thank you so much for joining us at the Stamperia blog hop. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. Hop along. You can win prizes as well. And just hop along to the next person, which is linked at the end of this video. Thank you so much and have an amazing day. Bye.